Brothers, brothers and sisters of Local 8, how are you all doing today? Uh, we're, we're with the safety committee meeting here. My name is John Manuel. I'm the chairman, better known as Beef. We have a great group of gentlemen who are going to portray some, some safety points to you guys. What we do is we take your safety very seriously, but we take ourselves a little lightly, and we're going to try to get some laughs out of you guys today. Um, I have someone to introduce to you. His name is Cautious. The caution cone. Where you at, cautious? I'm right here, beef. Well, this is cautious. Hopefully, he can get you guys some laughs. Stay tuned. Hello, we're here today with Local 8 Safety Committee. I'm here with Matt Cerucci. I'm John Gambone. We would like to start off by asking if anybody sees anything wrong with the harnesses that we're wearing today. Sure, I do. I see a couple things wrong. Johnny, let me ask Matt. Hey Matt, do you see anything wrong with Johnny's safety gear uh, today? Yeah, yeah, cautious. I think I do. We'll uh, we'll start with the hard hat, and say if he's going to be up in the air, first of all, it's backwards, which is no good. Second of all, his insides are falling out, and it's not tied on properly. So we should. Uh, well, being as it is game bone, we'll let him wear it because good uh, pick up, that's Matt. Right. Good pick up. Also, the other thing is that he's got his harness on upside down, which. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes it may look good, it might be a little more comfortable, but uh, these are actually supposed to be around the legs. With this, this clip right here, supposed to be in the middle of your chest, this clip a little bit below, and uh, this D-ring back here, right in the center of your back, as so you can uh, clip your harness into. And uh, these right here, we prefer to use the fireman clips. Now, uh, these are the best. You always want to make sure that they're closed, that you're not around something too thick, whatever the, the case may be. Uh, this is a climbing helmet. It's got the obviously the proper netting inside, the the, the quick uh, quick adjustment here, Excuse and the chin me, straps. Man. Yo, buddy, what's Why up? Why is it so important to have the strap on your helmet? Oh, uh, because you don't want it to fall off and hit nobody. For you know, and uh, God forbid you hit your head while you're in something and, and, and you fall, you get knocked unconscious, whatever the case may be. You want to make sure your head's protected when you when you're unconscious and you hit something else. So, Very good explanation. Thanks, Matt. That's it. No problem. Cautious. And, you guys uh, have a good day. I'm uh, gonna go for my 15 minute coffee. All right, buddy. Enjoy your coffee. Um, last thing though is the uh, the daisy chains. Uh, Daisy chain and the, the beaners, you, you want to get a rated beaner and a good daisy chain. Make sure that your beaner, once you're wrapped off, is uh, closed in securely and always be safe. Welcome back, boys and girls. This is Ed Doc, and he's got a lot of pointers today on safety at the Pennsylvania Convention Center while you're working in an IND booth. I'm gone. Have fun, Doc. Thanks, Cautious, I appreciate that. And fellow IATSE Local 8 members, let me tell you something. In my opinion, safety starts before you leave your house. And for me, it starts with stretching, making sure my back is in good working order, my legs are in good working order, and that when I get out to my car, I'm giving myself enough time to land on the job on time. And that way, I'm part of the crew in the numbers at the start of the day. Because if you're down a man, then there's safety issues. So always be on time for work. And when you get there, you're there, you're dressed properly. You have the shirt on that's required by your IND company. You have your steel toed boots on, which are required on the exhibit floor of the Pennsylvania Convention Center. And if in, if in any situation you feel you need a hard hat on, you put a hard hat on. If you feel you need knee pads on, you put knee pads on. And then uh, along with that, you wanna introduce yourself to your client and uh, the client is maybe, maybe you're the first person inside the Pennsylvania Convention Center or even in the city of Philadelphia that they're meeting. And you want to be hospitable. That's a big part of being in the IND business. Be hospitable, introduce yourself, let them know they're welcome in our city, and let them know that you want to do the best job you possibly can for them. Moving on to that, they're going to give you a blueprint. <clears throat> and the blueprint's going to have different numbers on it that are going to designate where things have to be and where electric's laid out at. And when you take a look at the electric, 
You want to make sure that there's no damage to any of the cords laying down on the ground. If those cables are damaged, you want to make sure that gets addressed before you move on. And then you want to make sure you got a clear floor to work on so that you can get ready to lay your padding and your carpet. And you get your knife out and you start working on your padding. And you will always want to cut away from yourself and make sure that you don't bring the knife into you. And you want to continue that when you're starting to lay your carpet. You, you follow some of these points, and I'm sure Cautious would agree with me that if you do some of those, follow some of these points, you will have a nice, safe working day and everything will be okay. Right, Cautious? That's absolutely right. Good job, Doc. Way to go. Way to be safe, everybody. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. That was a good cup of coffee. How about that, Tom? That was, wasn't it? Did cautious. you eat a did you eat a donut? No, I did not, cautious. I'm oh. trying to watch my girlish figure, but okay. beside the point. Well that could be safe. That was very good that Doc, Matt, John, cautious. My name's Tony Dinoy. I work at the convention center. I'm one of the safety persons there. Uh, we're gonna cover the ground person uh, that works at the convention center. Each union has a ground person, the electricians, the stage hands. Basically, this is the gentleman or woman that takes care of the lifts that are moving around in position to do the rigging, hang a sign, hang banners. Uh, they require that you wear a vest. The one I have on actually is from the convention center and it says stage hand on the back. They require that you have a flag, you wear your hard hat, which we all have our own personal hard hats or they have them at the convention center and you wear your safety boots. And basically what you do is you go get the lift from outside, bring it in, and you walk in front of it, walk beside it, walk behind it, and you make sure that the forklifts, the people working in the booths, the exhibitors, the other stage hands, the electricians, know that basically your lift is coming into position and it's getting ready to go in the air and start doing the rigging. We require that no one is underneath the basket when the gentlemen are in the air are actually hanging the sign or doing the pre-rig or the down-rig. Uh, Excuse cautious. me, Tony. Yes, sir. I know that's very important. To make sure that basket is clear. Why should it be clear? Well, you don't want anything to drop, which we do not drop anything, but you just don't want anyone around while they're in the air. Things can fall, something could drop, something could get knocked out of the basket. So we re require that no one is underneath of it, or even people just walking to their booth, like to walk underneath the lift, and we require that no one drives their carts and walk under the lift while we're working above their head. So basically, always keeping the area clear yes, below cautious. the basket. Yes, cautious. You always gotcha. want the area clear when there's a lift in the air. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you. Nice there is a detailed list on the IATSE website that has the whole 10 point safety rules on the ground man. Visit the website, give it a read. I'm out of here. What did it do? Welcome back everyone. Now we're gonna have Danny Amade, one of the senior members on our safety committee. Real knowledgeable guy. He's gonna go over a lot of different gear. So pay attention. Go ahead, Dan. Hi guys. So whenever you come to an outdoor show, you should be wearing your safety shoes. They should meet the ANSI Z41 1999 standard. Uh, this standard includes steel toe and composite shoes. Also, you need to have a helmet on the job. You can wear either a climbing helmet or a regular Home Depot helmet. If you're climbing, you must have a climbing helmet on. But if you're just on the ground, a, a regular Home Depot helmet will uh, do. All these helmets should meet the ANSI Z89.1-1969 standard. If you're unsure, you can just look on your helmet and here highlighted you can see where it says the standard. Now if you're climbing and you have a regular helmet you can also buy yourself a strap. These straps clip in, go around your chin and will hold the helmet on your head while you're climbing. While you're climbing we also recommend that you have a double lanyard. Um, single lanyards are okay if you're just in a scissor lift and uh, you're not going to be exiting the scissor lift but if you're walking around up in the air you'll need to have two two uh, lanyards, that way you can unclip one while one is still clipped in. When you're ascending, you should have an ASAP or use the yo-yo. 
This is an example of an ASAP. What this does is you hook the, a line that's on the top of the tower in, and when you go up, it goes up easily. But if you jump off or fall, it catches quickly and holds you up in the air. A yo-yo is a device that they put on the top, they're usually red, and what you do is you, you clip on, and as you go up, it pulls the string up with you. As you go down, it pulls the string down. And if you jump or fall, the uh, rope lets out about two feet and catches you. Also, we talk about proper tools. Hammer holder, very important. You shouldn't be walking around with a hammer in your pocket or in your belt. A, a hammer holder is good because it will prevent it from falling out and from dropping on people. If you're climbing with your hammer, as in doing scaffolding, you should always have a tie line or a tether hooked to it. Now a tie line is nice, but when you tie the knot, it may not be good enough. You should always secure with a piece of tape so that way it won't fall off. If you're climbing in the air, you should also have a harness. Anything more than six feet, we require a harness. You should also have a five-point harness, meaning the ANSI Z359 standard. Often overlooked safety stuff are safety glasses, worn here by cautious. I'm wearing mine! And gloves are very recommended, especially when you're cutting or using power tools. Hey Dan, why is it important to not have a cell phone in the air? Oh, because you could drop your cell phone, it could hit someone and hurt them, or break your cell phone. And more importantly, even when you're down on the floor, you could be in a conversation and accidentally get run over by a forklift because you're not paying attention. Exactly. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed everything. We have caught Cautious, what are you doing up here? Don't worry, Beef. They tied me up here with a clove hitch and a bone. Man, he can't be any more safer than this guy. I want to thank everyone for your time, and, and I hope everybody has a safe year this year. Um, just be sure to look out for more videos. They will be coming in the future. If you have any concerns at all, please contact us at safety at iati8.com.